hey guys so welcome back to another video uh today i'll be doing a uh a, 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 what to call a requested tutorial by this guy i have no name so yeah today i'll be learning how to make a story game lobby but instead of adding as unlimited players it will add it will add, be a gate with a maximum players let's say you want that gate to teleport only four players so it'll have a maximum of four players hopefully it's clear okay but before we continue i would like to say my story game series i'm gonna be cancelling that because that's technically my whole channel right now i'm getting bored of it i want to do more so i'm gonna be cancelling it but other than that let's get on okay guys the first thing you want to do is go to the first link in the description and get my gate kit model. Once you're done with that, you're going to click home, you're going to click toolbox. Then you're going to click the four squares or then you're going to click the gate kit model. Click OK and your gate kit model should be like this. Now, before we get on, make sure your game is published. To publish it, click File, click Publish to Roblox. Instead of Untitled Game, we'll name. Let's do it Tutorial. Put the Creator as you, or if you're making a group game, click your group. I'm gonna turn off Team Create, and I'm gonna click Create. Now that your game has been published, we can get on. After this, you're going to click view, you're going to click asset manager, you're going to click places, you're going to right click and add new place. You can rename this place to anything you want. I'm going to rename it to test place. And yeah, that should be it. Okay, now let's start scripting our gig. If you go to the gate kit, open it up, go to open, gate model, you see you'll have the main script. This script will uh, function the gate to teleport to your game. Do not mess with this script, only change the parts I tell you to. Players allowed will be the maximum amount of players you want in here. So let's say you want 4 players in one gate. You're going to change the value to 4. So whatever the value is, is how many players. So for now, let's do one. Next, go to the replicated storage. Add one remote event and rename this remote event to trans transition event. Make sure it's renamed exactly like this. Next, go to start a player start a character scripts and add a local script so local script you can rename i'm going to rename this script to transition yeah no i spelled it wrong transition script yep okay now copy whatever i write the first thing we're going to do is declare the tween save service so local tween service tween service equals game gate service tween service oh. okay next you gotta do local transition event equals game dot replicated storage dot transition event next let's declare the player so local player equals game dot players dot local player next let's declare the transition GUI transition transition equals okay you won't have the transition GUI in your gate kit I forgot to insert it so you're gonna I forgot to insert the transition GUI into 
uh, the gate kit so to do this I go to the second link in the description and get the transition GUI I have created a new model and then you're gonna go to view I mean home toolbox click the four squares and click transition GUI you're gonna put the transition GUI into starter GUI okay let's continue scripting so local transition GUI equals player player GUI wait for ooh. make sure it's not a colon it's dot play GUI then colon wait for child transition GUI now that we declare the transition GUI let's declare the frame so local frame equals transition GUI wait for child frame now transition event dot on client event connect function brackets enter it should create an end with a bracket at the end now do local frame visible local frame visible equals a curly bracket leave that blank now frame visible dot background background transparent see uh, I can't spell transparency equal zero next next you're gonna I'm gonna do local info equals tween info dot new two now tween service create frame comma info comma frame visible a frame visible colon play not that you're done with that you can close the script okay go to view go to asset manager go to places right click on test place and click copy id to clipboard after that you're gonna go to uh, main script and where it says local teleport id 000 you're gonna change it to your game id so I wanted to teleport to test place so I'm gonna paste the ID here do not copy my ID everybody's ID will be different okay now that you're done with that you're done with the whole thing now I'm gonna make four gates to test for no three gates to test for three people so I'm gonna duplicate it I'm gonna move it duplicate it move it you're gonna also click alt hold alt and click this little cube here this cube is where once they touch the front of the gate that's where it's gonna teleport them to so make sure that this can collide is off and transparency is set to one do it for all of your gates okay now I'm gonna change the play max uh, the max player amount in each of the gates. So this is first player. I'm gonna make sure players allowed. Value is set to one. Now for two players, what I'm gonna do is change players allowed. Change the value to two players. So two, and then in gate surface UI frame a uh, player no sorry multiple multiplayer option. I'm gonna change it to players now for three players I'm going to do the same thing change players allowed the value to three I'm gonna to go to uh, gate surface GUI frame multiplayer option change the thing to three players okay now that we're done with that we're gonna I'm go you can publish the game but for now I'm gonna be test I'm gonna build a place so that I can put for the lobby. So let me quickly build that.
okay i've built a small lobby it's not the best but the for sake of the video i've built it like this make sure for the surrounding that you have everything here make sure everything is anchored which i forgot to do so make sure everything is uh anchored with this anchored i'm um, super Anchored. Make sure all of those are anchored, and I'm gonna make sure the top is anchored too. So I've not built a surrounding, so they can still escape once they teleport into the gate. So I've built a surrounding and an invisible roof. So yeah, now that we're done with that, we I'm gonna click file. I'm gonna click publish to Roblox. Okay, now let's go test. Unfortunately, in studio you cannot teleport to another game so to do this we have to do it on the roblox get your roblox game i'm gonna click file close placed but everything's published so it should save click, click close game in, in my games if you, you're gonna click options you're gonna click configure game once you click that it should open up your game I'm gonna click public so that I can test this out with other people. I'm gonna click save changes. I'm gonna click overview. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna click over. I'm gonna scroll down here to other and I'm gonna click view in Roblox. So I've made it public and I've found the game. Now let's get other people to test this out. Guys, before I forget, go to game settings, go to security, allow uh, or allow third party teleport, and lay, allow HTTP requests. Click save, and now you're gonna go to places, you're gonna click test place, you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna do the same thing there. So my get thing has op opened up. As you can see, it's just a blank, blank base plate. Let's say you're doing a horror game. This is where you're gonna do your main game. You cannot do it in the same place. You've done your thing. So you're gonna click game settings. You're gonna click security. Allow third party teleports. That should already be. Allow HTTP. Save. Close. Save. Okay. And now, let's go back to testing. 